Well, in Mike's Mix this week, you're helping us bring some Minnesota to the big game. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we would have preferred that the Vikings would be in the Super yes. Bowl, but if you're making cocktails to go with the game, we have reached a point where pretty much everything in your glass can be Minnesota made. It made me sort of wonder, are we in the golden age of craft cocktails in Minnesota? I went to South Lindale Liquors to find out. I think we're on the precipice of a golden age in Minnesota. You know, prohibition changed everything and we're still just coming out of that. By now you know that Minnesota distilleries are creating tasty base spirits. In the last two to three years though, Minnesota made syrups, bitters and liqueurs have hit the shelves and area bartenders have flocked to them. In a cocktail, liqueurs are like the colors on a painter's palette. Our regular customers are coming in saying, hey, I just had this amazing cocktail at, and they start naming off different places, and they want to know how to make it. And that's where we come in, because it's all about, in our case, this is an adult candy store. One of the biggest developments in the past few years is that locally distilled bourbons and whiskeys are coming out of their aging barrels ready to sell. Now, New Richmond Rye, which is distilled just over the border in Wisconsin, has been around for a few years. It's actually owned by a couple of Minneapolis guys, so we'll give them a pass on that. But in the last year or so, Jay Carver Distillery in Waconia has finally released their Runestone Rye and Bourbon. And Far North Spirits from Halleck, Minnesota has their Rocknar Rye. And if you're using that whiskey in a Manhattan, choose this Tattersall's Italiano liqueur instead of sweet vermouth, plus Egbert's Cocktail Cherries and Jay Thomas Decanter Bitters from St. Paul's Dashfire Bitters. And if it's a Wisconsin-style old-fashioned you're looking to make, there's plenty of brandy to choose from, too, from Tattersall's Apple Brandy to Jay Carver's Apple Brandy to Jay Carver's Island View Regular Brandy. And when it comes to gins, there's really too many choices for me to mention. It just all comes down to your personal taste, because this is one of the first spirits local distillers started distilling. To make it a martini, you can grab Tattersall's Americano Liqueur. It's their version of dry vermouth. And pretty much every local distiller makes a vodka as well, which means for the calorie counters, you can pair that vodka with a locally made tonic syrup from Blue Hen in Minneapolis and a little bit of soda water for a vodka tonic. And that's just scratching the surface. You've got a Campari substitute from Tattersall Distilling, spiced rum from Far North Spirits. There are really too many to mention in this story, so maybe you should stop into South Lindale Liquors on your own. Or any of your neighborhood liquor mm -hmm. stores. We have a link to Explore Minnesota's Craft Distilleries page on our website if you want to learn more about those, uh, those companies that I mentioned. If you're thinking of grabbing a craft cocktail where, while in Minneapolis for the Super Bowl, I have posted a link to who's open and when, and their addresses at WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix. That is key because we know a lot of places are going to have some private events, so right. that's a big deal. Go check it out. Well, almost everybody's closed for a day or two, mm -hmm. so check it out. Great, thanks. Yeah.